is Carmen here for OSHA. Um, I will just wait and see if people begin to join the live before I begin. Um, hello Claudia, hello Claudia's watching, great. And if you'd like to let me know where you're watching from in the world, it's always nice to read it out and I also like to hear where you're from. Hello Holly next door, fantastic. Um, yes, so please do, do let me know where you're watching from also. That would be great. Hello Karen. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, so let me know where you're watching from and please do let me know. Hello from Finland. Thanks Claudia. Hello Sarah. Sarah. Nice to see you today. Hello, watching from Cape Cod, MA. Lovely. Hello, Lenka. Lenka's watching. Yeah. If someone could please share this in the clan also for me, that would be fantastic. So if someone can pop the video in the clan, share it in the clan and then let me know. Hello, Louise. Hello. So we have had or I have had a busy weekend. It feels like we've had another another burst of summer here in Scotland. We've had quite nice week weather over the weekend, um, which has been lovely. So, hello Lydia, hello, hello from Kyle of Local Show, very nice. Um, I do like the Kyle of Local Show. Um, lovely place to visit and you'll have had hopefully some nice, nice weather up there, Lenka, as well, I believe. Uh, hello Vanessa, Vanessa is watching. Great, I've got quite a few of you now, which is fantastic, so I shall begin. Like I said, if someone can please share in the clan, that would be great. Hello Vanessa from France, see ya. Hello. So, uh, I'm here today to show you our new release, which has been released on Wednesday, and it's the Casa Doom Into the Cavern, it's called, which is what I'm wearing right now. So, Casa Doom into the cavern. Um, this release is 100% BCI organic combed cotton but it is woven with a beautiful gradient space dye weft so it's really really interesting and lovely and I'll take it off in a wee minute and show you up close to the camera but it's really beautiful this one. Um, our Casa Doom design which has only been released once before so this is the second release the inspiration, as some of you will know, is from the dwarfish pattern, uh, came from the regal halls of Moria. The, and the ruins on it, it's got the ruins round as well, which is really nice. It is 276 GSM, this one, and it is lovely and soft in handle. I'm really enjoying, I really enjoyed wrapping with this one just there. Lovely and soft in handle. It feels quite light. It's 276, but it does, it does have a nice light feel to it, I'd say. So really, really nice for wrapping with. Hi from Arizona. Hello Erin from Arizona. It must be hot there. It is really stunning, Lenka. Yes, it is beautiful up there. My grandparents lived up near the Kyle of Lachalsh. So yes, Kazadun. Here it is. Um, it's beginner friendly, this one. Easy care and it's suitable for all seasons. And yeah, really, really pretty. I'm going to take it off so I can show you up close the gradient. I'll spin around first. So we've got we've got this beautiful Casadum design. It's got the the ruins along the border and these lovely sort of Art Deco kind of uh, patterns along the edges. And then you've got these big kind of Art Deco sort of like diamonds in the centre of it as well. And you've got the steps, the pillars here, and then you've got steps like. Um, to represent the steps in Moria as well and then it kind of fades up so it's really really gorgeous I'm going to take it off and show you the gradient really nice please do ask me any questions you have about this one as well uh, please do let me know or your thoughts on it and I can answer answer them for you so let me take this one off turn around and see the back of it. the knot's not too big either either it's nice so I'll take this off so I can hold it up to the camera and talk about the beautiful gradient. As you can see as I hold it out here, you can see this beautiful gradient, how it goes from this blue space dye yarn and then it goes into a red, I'm working from right to left here, the blue space dye yarn into a sort of red space dye yarn and then out into this green 
space die yarn. So it gives this beautiful gradient across the diamonds. And it is really nice. So this is the face of the fabric. And then on the back, you can see the space die even more here. So let me pop this baby down. <laughs> Put the baby down here. I'll hold it up for you. So, here we go. This is the design here, the runes along the top, the beautiful space dye yarn. I'm going to hold it right up. And you can see, see the red space dye, ready pinky colours. Um, and then moving into the, the green. And then along into these beautiful blue shades. And that's these lovely Art Deco diamonds. And if you move down the design, I'll show you what I mean by the stairs. At the bottom of the design here, see this way we've faded the design using a technique on the loom, the jacquard loom, to create these, create these sort of steps, um, which I think is really lovely and a nice sort of touch. You don't necessarily think of it straight away, but that's what is to symbolise all the stairs within Moria. So, here we go. And of course, the Dwarvish runes along the top, they read... A king he was on carven throne in many pillared halls of stone with golden roof and silver floor and ruins of a power upon the door. So that's the poem that it says along the top in the Dwarvish and it's along the bottom as well. Really nice. So this is limited. There's only about 45 metres of this one. It is £165, excluding VAT, for a size 6. Um, it really is, like, I hope you all like it. It really is quite beautiful. And I would say, to, as a designer, it's extremely unusual to design something like this because of the space dye yarn that goes into it. It's, it's really, you don't, um, yeah, you rarely see gradients like this using space dye yarns in them because of the the variations that can occur it's quite hard to keep the consistency but I think that's what makes it so beautiful and when you stretch it out there and look at it like that I think you can really see the beautiful gradient of green to blue to red and the way it pops out of the diamonds and the steps below so really beautiful please do let me know if you have any questions on this Kaz of Doom into the cavern and I will answer them. Hello from Ireland, I love it, great. So do you all love it? Are we enjoying it? I'll show you the reverse as well. There we go, there's the reverse of the fabric so you can really see the space die here. Can you get the grad pattern placement as perfect for all patterns or is it Casa Doom thing? <laughs> it's usually pretty good I'd say, um, but this one has, we've designed it very well to, for it to fit perfectly into these diamonds. It really helps when it's a geometric shape like that. Um, you know, when it's a geometric shape, you can actually really, you know, fit, fit the warp and weft into it to create, you know, create the colour shift so it sits perfectly on the design. So it does help when the design is geometric itself. It definitely lends itself to creating that beautiful placement for the colour. Will this be available in bags as well? Um, I will let Holly answer that one. I know it's limited, um, so I'm not quite sure. So if Holly will perhaps answer in the chat or I will look at that later and I'll get back to you. I'll show you the back again. Yes, 45 metres. There we go. So really, really interesting design and use of the space dye. And it goes really nice. I'm just wearing black black denim today and the black denim pinifer, which I think it was actually working really well with, with the black. And I feel that like this one will actually go with a lot. When I put it on, it pleasantly surprised me. Um, the colours and the way they popped and I thought this would actually be a really easy wrap to wear. I could imagine it wearing with my denim jeans or with most of my wardrobe I could imagine actually popping this on and it working really well. Which is always a nice thing to consider. So there we go. Right, the next thing I want to show you, if there's any more questions on that let me know. 
And the next thing I want to show you is Holly's got back. It'll only be available as ready-made wraps and ring slings. Yes, because of the small amounts. That's what I thought. What is the pattern name? So that one was called Kazadoom. Can you show it bunched as a scarf? Okay, let me do that. I, love it. I do love a scarf. Um, it's a very long wrap I've got here, so I'll just do a little bit. There you go. It actually, it's not, the weight of it's actually quite nice for a wrap scarf. So that's it, bunched as a scarf. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as nice as a scarf, I like it. So the next thing I've got to show you today is our beautiful pearled throws. So the first one I'll show you is our Realm of Middle Earth Umber Throw. It is here. So this is designed in very soft, natural colour way. It's a lovely soft top grad. So it's fading from this kind of dark toppy brown colour. And then it goes into this beautiful sort of mid-tone toppy brown and fading into the lighter sort of creamer at the end and it's realm of middle earth and it is a lovely neutral throw that will go really nice and I imagine most most interior spaces so I'll step back and hold it up for you if you can see it I'm picking over the top but this is it here <laughs> and it is 40% wool and 60% merino lambs wool this one and it's about 400 gsm um, the Realm of Middle Earth is a hand-drawn design we did a number of years back here at Osha and it's really lovely. Uh, you've got the pearled edges in the throw for this one, which is the pearled here, which are really nice and they're a really lovely quality you can achieve on woolen throws. So pearled edges like this are, are not so achievable on cotton due to the way the wool binds and twists it's a lot better to achieve them on wool these beautiful pearls so it's really really nice cozy soft merino lamb's wool and wool throw so how does this feel compared to hith throws and vineyards throws the hith throw is cash wool um and with a cotton warp and this one is a wool warp with merino lamb's wool so it's soft to the touch um, but it is 100% wool, which is personally I, I really like. So I'll show you the reverse as well, here you go. But yeah, really nice throw for snuggling up on your sofa or wherever you want to have it in your house. <laughs> so please do let me know if you have any more questions on this one. We've only got about 39 of these in stock, so if it's something you're interested in, please do. Keep that in mind. Really lovely. So the second throw I want to show you today, and I know there certainly be one of our customers who will be excited about this one, and it is our Fangorn wood throw. Um, this is the first time we've ever woven Fangorn as a throw. Um, yes, the price for that one is £148, and the price for this one as well, uh, Abby. Um, so yeah, Fangorn is the next, the next throw and this is the first time it's been woven by a throw. Uh, it's again the same quality, so a 40% wool, 60% merino lamb's wool, which is really nice. And yeah, it's got the beautiful brown toppy fade across it as well. And it really, really highlights the detail of the Fangorn design. So. What I was noticing, and you'll see when I hold it up, is I was noticing all parts of the design that I hadn't noticed before when you see it enlarged like this. So it really does show the detail and the craftsmanship and the illustration uh, of this design. So, our beautiful Fangorn throw. I'll step back, here we go. Let me know your thoughts, guys, but look at that. You can see the beautiful deer grazing by the river. You've got the trees and the faces in the trees and all these lovely details of the animals that you 
sometimes don't even pick out. And if I hold it up closer, look at the leaves and the flowers and the top of the tree, the acorns, the beautiful just line work in the background of the wood. Really, really nice. Here we go, pull it down. You can see the deer in the forest. Here we go, right down. Even the little tufts, just encasing the little deer's feet as he stands, eating or drinking from the water. All these beautiful details that you don't always pick up on in the wrap. So, yep, yeah, that is our Fangorn wool throw. First time we have woven it as a throw. So I'll show you the reverse as well. Uh, both of them, the brown side is the face, with the white being the reverse. So... However, of course, you can lay it how you want. So the reverse of the fabric there. Really, really lovely. So we've got about 50 throws on this one. And again, it is £148. Um, please do let me know if you have any questions on this. And I will have a wee look and see if anyone's asked anything. Hold us up. Jessica, but why must it be wool? Well, yeah. I, I personally like wool, but it's not for, for everyone. Let me see if there's any more questions. Isn't the white side the front? Um, no, the brown is the face of the fabric, however... The reverse is, is nice, skip the price. Perfect, well I think that is all the questions that were asked in that one. So, <laughs> what else have I got to show you today? So we've got the Northern Lights PO that's currently running. Uh, they're voting on their wefts for their seven patterns at the moment. And I thought I would just show you uh, some yarn swatches of the wefts that are currently being voted on. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. So the first weft, or the warp here it is here, this is the beautiful Northern Lights grad here. Obviously it'll look a little bit different on camera to um, what it'll be like. So here it is, here's the lovely purples. The first, one of the first wefts we have that they're voting on is the hemp. And that's this lovely spearmint hemp here, which I think, as you can see, it's going to look beautiful sitting across all these colours. a really light, beautiful colour. And this is the hemp. So that was one of the five options for wefts. So if you're interested, please do go across and vote for the pattern you wish to see the hemp on. So here it is. It's going to work really well. The next one that is being voted on is the Eco Cotton. Um, I love the Eco Cotton yarn. It's got great sustainable qualities to it, which is what I really enjoy and it's also a good price. So here it is here and it's in this pale blue. So I'm holding it up. We've only got a tiny swatch of it. But here it is in the pale blue. So again, it's going to look lovely across all these colours. It's going to sit out really nicely. It's beautiful pale Eco Cotton. So this is our budget friendly option in this pre-order and um, also vegan friendly, this one. The hemp is obviously vegan friendly too. Uh, the next weft, we are voting, oh, well, I like this one. Next weft, so we are voting are the cash wool and the peace silk. So here it is here, so it's alternating. So that's the peace silk here. They love the lovely nubs and slubs in this kind of pale golden shade. And then this cash wool behind and they'll be alternating. So it's going to look gorgeous across these colours. Really nice. Um, Peace Silk, again, is a really interesting yarn. Um, it's this nat that makes it this natural red colour. Uh, the way the silkworms feed make it this beautiful natural red colour. And they break through, free from their cocoons without it being harvested, which is obviously better. So it's a really interesting yarn, the piece silk, and one I quite enjoy working with. It uh, also feels great. So the other two wefts, excuse me, to show you. 
are the Beretti, the Beret silk. And I'm going to hold it up as Peace Silk Toddler Worthy. Um, yes, it's fairly strong and supportive and it's mixed with the cash rule, so it'll be absolutely fine, I imagine. So here we go. We've got down here, we've got the blue graphite with the speckles alternating with the peacoat cash wool. I believe that was the two shades, um, which again, we're going to look really beautiful alternating. You can't really see in this camera, but it's the just dark, dark navy with this blue, grey, speckled um, barrette silk. So again, a lovely quality. It's going to, the little white or light grey speckles are really going to shine through, making this really, really lovely. And the last yarn out of the five options is the Salou Blue and the Barrette, which is this one down at the bottom here. So it looks almost black on this camera, but it's a very, very dark navy. And again, it's going to look great sitting across all these colours. Um, really beautiful. Going to stand out. No, There'll be no disappearing with any of these wefts. You're going to notice them all. So really nice. The blue graphite is amazing, Jess. I think it's going to look particularly nice. So that is all the West for that. Uh, please do head over to the Northern Lights group and vote um, on what it is you want to see with what. Um, yeah, so please do let me know if you've got any other questions at the moment. Um, also, um, I think that some of you will have noticed the Loch Wool PO uh, images have come in. So you've got the weaving photos in the newsletter now. So if you haven't seen them already, please do go and check your inbox if you've ordered from that PO because you will find some images of it in Loom uh, at the moment. And it's looking really lovely, um, the Loch PO. So, yeah, I think that's probably everything for today. If there's any final questions, pop them up now um, or anything you want me to show you again quickly, please do pop it up right now and I can do so um, before heading off. I think I will just pull this up for the last wee seconds so you can see it one last time. The beautiful Casa Doom. There we go. Beautiful. So I will let you go, but thank you for What's the time frame from Loom Dispatch? I can never remember. I will get back to you on that one after. Uh, there was no tester for this one, Jess. So no. And I will get back to some of your questions afterwards um, but if I've not answered them already. 45 metres of the Casa Doom. Um, so it's not too limited. Perfect, I'll get back to any more questions after. I'm reading it as you're, as you're uh, messaging. So thank you very much for joining me today and I will let you all go. Okay, bye.